Hello, firsties. We're going to continue our study of comprehension. I understand what I read. Part two, who is the biggest? Apparently, I didn't have enough room to do the entire video on my phone, so all that breath was wasted. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with part two. We were on question number two. He can be strong, fast, both. I want you to choose the answer that is the best. If you don't have this paper, instead of filling in here, if you don't have it, you can go over to your notebook and write, he can be and then write down what you think the correct answer is. You can pause the video if you need to. Number three, his fur can be green, round, soft. Well, I know round doesn't make sense, fur isn't round. So what I'm gonna do is just put an X by that one. Okay, now you need to choose. Choose either green, or soft. Now, if you don't have this paper, again, you're going to go over here and write his fur can be, and then write your answer down. Number four. Where does the this animal live? I want a complete sentence. He lives in, right where you think he lives. If you don't have this paper, again, you're gonna go over here and put he or she lives in, and then you're gonna write down whatever you think. Where do you think he lives? If you're not sure, go back to the story. Number five, does the author know who, is, who the biggest animal is? Yes or no? So you're gonna choose yes or no. And again, if you don't have this paper, you're gonna write number five. You can either put yes or no. Or you can put both and then just circle the one you think is right. Okay, then when you've finished all this, you're gonna go draw a picture. Now remember, your picture needs to match your story. Wants to know who is the biggest. So would you draw an ant? Of course not, that's tiny. How about a cat? Well, that's bigger, but it's not a, the biggest animal. All right, so I want you to go ahead and draw a big animal, and I will give you bonus points if you go on the internet and you find out who the actual largest animal in the jungle is. Okay? Go ahead, finish your paper. Now I'm gonna go over the answers. So be sure you're finished before you look at the answers. Otherwise, I'm not gonna know if you got it or not. Okay, the answers are, the animal is the, well, the answer is biggest. Who is the biggest? Who is the biggest? The whole story is about finding the biggest animal. So I would have chosen, hmm, filling in this circle completely, biggest. Now if you're writing on paper, you would write biggest. And I already have my period. Okay, number two. He can be strong fast or both now this is the kind of questions that give first graders a lot of trouble they read he can be strong and they're like yeah that's the right answer well that is that's that's the right answer but it's only part of the right answer because the story tells us that he can be strong hmm. can he be strong or fast so it talks about both of these things so a lot of times we're not looking for just the part right answer, but for the best right answer. So what you should have chosen for this one is both. 
And if you're writing it down, you could put, he can be strong and fast. Period. All right, number three, his fur can be, we already eliminated round, green, or soft. Now, if you're not sure, you go back to the story and it says soft fur are pretty scale. So I would go with soft. And I'm gonna fill in soft. And if I'm writing, his fur can be, should have written soft. All right, number four. Where does this animal live? Well, it tells us a couple of times. They're talking about the jungle, the jungle. And then I even told you down here when you're drawing your picture, I said, ooh, what's the biggest animal in the jungle? So I gave you a couple of clues there. So you should have chosen, or actually written, where does he live? He lives in the jungle. Period. And same thing here. He lives in the jungle. Have you ever noticed that the word lives and lives are spelled the same way? You just have to think about which one is correct when you read it. All right, last question. Does the author know who the biggest animal is? Mm, nope, because the last thing he does is say, who is the biggest animal in the jungle? So the correct answer on that one would be no. And you either wrote no here or you circled it. Okay? And that's all you have to do. And of course you have your beautiful picture you drew here or else you drew here. And then you want to have your parents take a picture of this, either this or this, whichever way you did it. Take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. And then we'll give you a great big old check mark by your name. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye firsties.